What's up, guys? We're going to go ahead and review Adaware Privacy uh, Protection. No, Adaware Privacy, that's what it's called. And when you try to download it, I will post a link on the description of the video. It's adaware.com, right? Now, check this out. When you go to download it, though, you will get, if you're using Chrome and you're using Windows 10 like I am, I'm sure Windows 11 will do the same thing. It's going to tell you it's a virus. Click on the little pop-up that comes up. It'll take you to this screen here. Actually, to this screen. Uh, this is the window security. Go to Manage Settings down here. Manage Settings. Turn off the real-time protection. Um, then it'll let you download it. I don't know why it's doing that. Adaware seems legit. Um, they have an HTTPS here. And if you go to the very bottom... Um, I mean, they're, they're legit. It was coming up as a virus at first, but I mean, they have two products, Adaware Privacy and PC Cleaner. Um, they don't seem like they're bad. I don't know uh, about us. Wait a second. Well, history, discover our story. I'm telling you, it's seems pretty legit I don't know why it would tell me that it was a virus but here we are I was able to install it by doing this make sure you turn that back on once you install it though I'm gonna turn it back on now uh, but here it is we're taking a look at it now um, there's really not much to it uh, it'll monitor whatever websites you're on and we're gonna test this out like right now all it knows is we're in Chrome but we're gonna test this puppy out Let's go ahead. Let's go to like some weird. Let's go to Pirate Bay. I don't know. I'm just choosing some weird, uh, crazy freaking website. The Pirate Bay. You know, you go to Pirate Bay and it's going to be, you know, it's probably going to pick it up, I hope. But it's only picking up Google Chrome right now. We're going to go to Sites Monitored. View Monitoring Report. Geo.lavasoft.com. Out of where it's not showing that we went to um, Pirate Bay. I wonder why. I wonder why. Honestly, guys, I don't see much of a need. I mean, it's okay. Um, it's more of a monitor thing, more like a log thing. Email breach. Now, I can't put my email in here for, you know, obvious um, privacy reasons. <laughs> it's funny how this thing is a privacy software. Uh, camera and mic. Um, I have that on. VPN. If you want to use the VPN, you got to use Privacy Plus. You have to uh, to do that. I'm sure it's going to cost some money. Let's take a look. First, you have to make up an account with them, though. Ad blocker. We're going to go ahead and install that for Chrome. Let's test this out. We're going to add to Chrome. Add extension. Let's see how good it works. I know that Pirate Bay probably has a lot of freaking uh, ads, so. All right, here it goes. Looks like we installed it. Let's take a look at it. Here it is. So it's saying it's blocked nine ads here. Um, block up, pop up, uh, block pop ups. We're going to turn that on too. <clears throat> Dangerous websites is on. I wonder how it's going to take. Um, let's go back to our private bay. So here it's trying to install Flash Player. That's, that's funny. Look at this shit. There it goes. It's working. So now we know it works. It's preventing certain pop-ups. If you like to go a lot to Pirate Bay, streaming sites, right? I'm trying to watch the fights for free. Ah, you little rebel. Um, you cheeky bastard. <laughs> it will block it. So it looks like it's working, guys. I mean, let's go ahead and search for some. Boom. See what happens? See, usually when you click here, it'll pop up a pop-up. I mean, you know, you guys are used to this. Let's just put, um, you know, I've been wanting to search for The Chosen. The Chosen Show. The Chosen. Um, I don't know what the heck pop up here, but we're testing this out. When you click on it, sometimes when you click Get This Torrent, all uh, right. It looks like it went to the actual torrent. Good, 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 good. But we've seen it blocked, so it's working. So it looks like it works, guys. 
And this is the free edition, and it works. So if you guys want to pop, I mean, that's what it works for. Adaware, I would use Adaware Privacy. It's free if you want to um, block pop-ups. We see here that it works. It works pretty good, guys. And it's going to be this extension that I recommend you guys use. Use this extension if you guys are going to, like, Pirate Bay. Um, you guys are going to streaming sites. You know, all those pop-ups that pop up. This is perfect for that. Looks like it works really well. And that's about it, guys. That's all really you guys could use it for. The email scanner, I'm not going to really use right now. But I'm pretty sure it works. Um, if you guys uh, use it, let me know. Or, you know, I'll go ahead and use it. But I won't be able to show you guys because of privacy reasons. All right. So I actually did go ahead and, and use it. I have my email blocked here. But it looks like there's 90... Uh, Nine detected breaches for my email, and I use that email all the time. But look, here they are, Teespring. Uh, uh, click through the breach incident, contain the breaches detected. Limited of one scan per day. So you get to do one scan per day unless you upgrade to Plus. So there we are, guys. I was able to show you guys how the email breach works. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I would use this more for... Uh, uh, blocking pop-ups when you guys are on your streaming websites looking for torrents stuff like that You know all those pop-ups that pop up and so annoying and they could be pretty malicious uh, It looks like it works pretty good use the Chrome extension. I Believe there was uh, other extensions too if you guys use other web browsers. Thanks for watching guys Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon in another video